Okay, everyone. Now this is the second part of our class. This is Unit Eight, Lesson A. Um, and now, what I want you to do, I want you to open your workbook. Okay, go to your workbook and open on page nine zero the exercise book, the workbook page nine zero and as always what you can do is you can do the exercises on your own first and then come back for the correction so if you want to do that you have to pause the video now otherwise you can continue to follow along and we are going to do the exercises together. So you have two options, as you already know. So first, to challenge yourself and try to do the exercises on your own. So pause the video and come back for the correction later. Or you can just do the exercises together with me. Okay? But I do encourage you to challenge yourself and to do the exercises on your own, pause the video, try to do it, and then come back. Okay? But now is workbook, page 90, and we are on exercise 1. Okay? So let's take a look here. Uh, the exercise, uh, the exercise 1 is asking us to unscramble the letters and to write the words okay so the first one is you have these letters here and then the, the word correct the correct word is lab okay so the purpose of this exercise is to increase your vocabulary so what is word number two Word number two is orderly. Okay. How about word number three? Very good. Co workers. Okay. Number four. Word number four. Walker, very done. Page number five, no, sorry, word number five, linens, very good. Word number six, good, patient. Word number seven, Supplies, very good. And word number eight, wheelchair, very good. Okay, so very good. See, these are all the words that are correct. Okay. So if you have any questions, let me know. But let's go now and do exercise 2. So exercise 2 now, we have to match the words that we had on exercise 1 with the picture. Okay? So what is picture number one you already have there right you already have its lab okay so now let's go to number two look here what is number two so look there is a, a there is a line connecting these two to number two so these two are very good co-workers let's go to number three what is number three 
what does she have here? There you go. She has linens. Okay. But now let's go to number four. How about down here? What does she have? She has supplies. Supplies is the same as materials. Okay, materials. Okay. Questions? Okay, let's continue. Um, let's go here and take a look at number five. What is number five? What is this? Okay, very good. It's a wheelchair. Number six. Let's look here, number six. Yeah, it's pointing to this. Yeah, that is helping this man walk. So number six is a walker. Very good. Very good. And now let's go and see number seven. Number seven is this. What is th what is this man doing? What does he do? He is an orderly. Orderly usually helps patients, uh, delivers mail to patients, flowers, takes some supplies from one place to another. They are, we call them orderly, yeah. And what is number eight? This lady that is, uh, the lady on the wheelchair, she is a patient, okay? Let's take a look. Very good. We got all of them correct, okay? Questions? Okie dokie, so now let's continue and move to exercise 3 on page 91. Go to page 91. Let's go to exercise 3, page 91. Page 9-1, so the exercise is asking us to complete the sentences, okay? And we have to complete the sentences with the words that are in the gray box. In your book, they are in the gray box. In your screen, they are in, in blue, light blue here, okay? So first, let's practice a little bit of pronunciation. I need you to follow me okay so repeat after me. repeat after me co-workers co-workers linens linens orderly orderly Patient, patient, walker, walker, wheelchair, wheelchair. Great. So now let's use these words and complete the sentences, okay? Sentence number one, the, we already have that one as an example, the patient came to the hospital with a broken leg. The patient came to the hospital with a broken leg. So now let's go to sentence number two and let's see. Suzanne and her two -na -na, worked the night shift together. Suzanne and her two the nana worked the night shift together. What is the correct word? Very good. The correct word is co workers. Suzanne and her two co workers worked the night shift together. Very good. 
Let's go to number three. Suzanne put put clean tanana on the bed. Suzanne put clean tanana on the bed. What is the correct word? Suzanne put clean linens on the bed. Suzanne put clean linens on the bed. Sentence number four. Because he broke his leg, Sam had to ride in a tanana. Because he broke his leg, Sam had to ride in a tanana. So the correct word for this sentence is ride in a wheelchair. Because Sam, because he broke his leg, Sam had to ride in a wheelchair. Sentence number five. The tanana took the x-rays to the lab. The tanana took the x-rays to the lab. And the correct word for this sentence is the orderly. Very good. The orderly took the x-rays to the lab. Let's go now to number six. Sentence number six. Anne is very old. She needs to use A when she walks. Anne is very old. She needs to use A -na -na -na, when she walks. The correct word for this sentence is walker. Anne is very old. She needs to use a walker when she walks. Let's check how the sentences are correct. Okay? Let's go to next exercise, exercise 4 is a listening exercise, okay? So I need you to listen to the audio and then circle T or F, T for true, F for false, okay? Now. I'm gonna play the audio. I want you to listen to the audio and complete the sentences. Okay? Let's do that. Conversation A Hi, Marcus. How are you? Hi, Otto. I'm fine. Hey, how was your new job? It's great. I love it. What do you do? I'm an orderly. Hmm. What do orderlies do? Well, let's see. I do a lot of different things. For example, yesterday I delivered supplies and picked up x-rays. Do you help patients? Yes. This morning I delivered a walker to a patient. I also took a patient to the lab. Do you clean the rooms? No, I don't clean the rooms, but I make the beds. Conversation B Hi, Raphael. How's it going? Oh, hi, Otto. I'm fine. What's new with you? Well, I'm thinking about getting a new job. Really? You just started your job here a few weeks ago. Well, I like my job, but I need to work part-time now. I'm going to go to school. Can you work and go to school? Sure. I can go to school during the day and work a night shift. That sounds hard. Why do you want to go to school? I want to get a medical assisting certificate. That sounds like a good idea. Maybe you can work the night shift here. Right. I'm going to ask about that. Conversation C Is this the counseling office? Yes, it is. I'm Laura Jones. I'm the new student advisor. Hi, Laura. I'm Otto Martinez. Hi, Otto. Have a seat. How can I help you? 
I'm an orderly at Valley Hospital. I like my job, but I want to become a medical assistant. That's a great idea. We have an excellent medical assisting program here at Bay City College. You can get a certificate in one year. I need to work. Can I go to school part-time and work part-time? Yes. Many students go to school part-time and work part-time. But you'll get your certificate in two years, not one. And all the classes are in the daytime. That's okay. I can work the night shift at the hospital. Well, that sounds good then. I'll see you this fall. Great. Thanks, Lara. Okay, so now let's go to our correction. Conversation A, number one. Otto, Otto has a new job. True. Okay. Now, let's go here. Number two. Otto delivered a walker to a patient yesterday. True or false? This one is false. Okay. Otto cleans rooms. True or false? This one is false. Okay, and as, uh, as you do the correction, I want you to just remember uh, what's wrong with this false statement, okay? It'll help you later. But let's continue now. We are going to conversation B, okay? So let's look here. Number four. Otto started his job a few months ago. And that is false. Yeah. Number five. Otto needs to work full time now. And that is false. Yeah, all of them false. And number six, Otto wants to be a medical assistant that one is true very good questions okay let's continue okay so now number seven Otto is in an office at valley hospital true or false no that one is false okay Number eight, Otto can go to school part-time and work part-time. That one is, number eight is, true. Yeah. And number nine, Otto can't take classes at night. Otto can take classes at night and that one is true. Okay, he can't take classes at night. Because he will work okay so let's see if those are correct yes all of them are correct remember I told you to take a look at these false ones here yes because you're gonna need them to do exercise 5 okay go to exercise 5 so we had to write the one uh, that are make the false statements in exercise four true. Okay, you had to write, and here I have the option to choose. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you the correct ones. Okay, so this one is false. Auto delivered a walker to a patient. Do you remember why this one is false? 
Yes, because it was not yesterday. It was this morning. Yeah. It was this morning. Yeah, right? But then, he also had this option that he delivered supplies yesterday. So this one is the correct one too. Okay? So if you, if you wrote down, auto delivered a... a a walker to a patient this morning or if you wrote auto deliver supplies yesterday both are correct but for the sake of this exercise I only have this option so I'm gonna put this one here okay so now let's go to number two false auto cleans rooms and, and this is this is false because basically he doesn't clean rooms okay Okay. And I don't know, I don't remember if he makes beds, but uh, yeah, he makes beds. Okay. Number three, Otto started his job a few months ago, and if it's not a few months ago, it was a few weeks ago. Yeah. Okay. And number four. Otto needs to work full-time now. No, he needs to work part-time now. Remember that? And number five, Otto is in an office at Valley Hospital. No, he's not in a hospital. He is at the college, Bay City College. Okay? And all these ones are correct. Okay, everyone. Thank you for watching. Let's take a break. Okay?